So earlier this week, Cameron made a statement that um, blame for young Britons joining ISIS and the like should be shared by Muslim communities because they apparently quietly condone the ideology instead of self confronting it. But here's the thing any society has the responsibility to confront the immoral behaviour that happens within it. But there's a small nuanceful difference between responsibility and obligation because if you imply that a Muslim community is obliged to confront uh, this then you're implying blame and you're implying blame on an entire group of people based on the actions of a few who frankly do nothing to represent us. Uh, you know, nothing in Islam condones the actions that the group commits and if anything it explicitly condemns it. Uh, and the reason you get young Britons joining these groups are various, but they mostly stem down to, as is usual in these circumstances, ignorance. Um, and as a community, we are in a position to speak out against it, and thus we should speak out against it. But it's not on us, which is what's being implied. And you know, people forget the reasons that we have these organisations existing in the first place are multifaceted, but they they they, they come down to in at least part being started by Western intervention and, and political tensions. But when you try to imply however subtly that it's just a bunch of crazy Muslimic people, then you localise the problem into just one area and dump it all on a group of people who have nothing to do with it. And you ignore all the other contrib contributing factors towards the tensions and the problems that are existing in the world. You know, Muslims are as much a victim of these actions as, as anyone else. You know, it's our image is being dumped on and the things that are happening only serve to increase xenophobia and, and prejudice against against people who are Muslims and people who, who are from uh, an Arabic capacity. So yeah, if we can, we should obviously do what we can to combat any more behaviour. But that doesn't mean it's on us. It's not our fault. The blame isn't to us and nothing, just language that's used shouldn't be used in a way that implies that. And that's what's being applied by Cameron's speech, and that's what the issue is here.